Hey everyone, I'm going to tell you how to make a quick, easy Chinese dish called white cut chicken, or bai jia ji. Now before we even start with the chicken, the first thing you're going to do is fill a big stock pot up with water and set it on the stove to boil. While the water is boiling, uh, we're going to unwrap our chicken and just look all over the surface of the skin. Um, Chickens from the supermarket aren't always perfectly cleaned, so we want to check for any um, any membrane left on the surface or any pin feathers. Um, and we just wanted to make sure we get all that out because we won't uh, because we're going to be eating the skin, so we don't want any of that stuff on there. Also, if you've bought your chicken from a supermarket, it may have a bag of giblets inside, and you want to make sure you take that out before we cook it. So, to set the chicken aside for a minute, we're just going to do a little bit of prep work. Um, start by chopping up a few green onions. We want to separate the bottom part, the white part, um, from the green leafy part on the top. And just loosely chop the bottom part. We're going to use the green part in our sauce, so we want to chop it pretty finely. And just make sure uh, the pieces aren't too big. So we'll just scoop up the green part into a bowl. And then we're going to add some ginger to it. Now I've used a microplane grater here, which works great if you have it. Otherwise, you can just slice them up and just mince it finely with a knife. The exact quantity is not too important, uh, but there should be a good amount. You can adjust for flavor. So by now the water should have boiled. So you can actually just put the chicken in it, and then we're going to turn the heat off on the stove. We'll add the white part of the green onion to the water, and if you have them, a few pieces of star anise will add to the flavor. Now we're going to let the chicken cook for about 30 or 40 minutes, but in the meantime we can make some condiments to go with the chicken. So to start with, take some soy sauce. Here I've used some tamari, but it doesn't really matter. And we're going to mix it at about one to one with oyster sauce. And then we're just going to take some sesame or other vegetable oil and just pour a little bit on top. Then we'll mix it all up. The oil will stay on top, but the soy and oyster sauces will mix together. For our second condiment, we're going to want to heat up some cooking oil, either canola or peanut. And once it's just starting to smoke, we're going to pour this into our green onions and ginger. And if you listen, it'll actually start to sizzle. Uh, so don't do this in a plastic bowl. It won't be enough to cook the green onions, but it'll be enough to make the ginger cook a little bit. And we just want to stir that up. Then we're going to add a little bit of salt to it. And then stir it up again. So after about 30 minutes, we're going to want to check our chicken. So as you can see, the water stayed about 65 degrees, which is still pretty warm. Uh, but we're going to want to check the chicken. So first we'll check the chicken breast, which should read at least 60 degrees Celsius at this point. Uh, and then we want to check in the space between the thigh and the body. Now this, we've only hit about 57, so we're going to leave it in for a little bit longer. The water's cooled down too much. You might have to turn on the heat a little bit. But, so we gave it a new, another 10 minutes or so. And now our thigh is reading about 66, which is perfect. So we're going to take the chicken out. Make sure to drain the abdominal cavity, or you'll have a lot of water to deal with on your cutting board. And then we're just going to let it sit and cool for about 10 minutes before we start cutting. So there's a lot of ways you can carve a chicken. The way I like to do it is first deal with the limbs. So we're going to cut the joint between the thigh and the body. And then feel around for the joint between the thigh and the leg. And we'll separate those two. And then remove the wings. And finally, cut out the breasts. So 
I like to start by cutting down along the breastbone first and then cutting underneath the breast to detach it from the rest of the chicken. So once you've got the breast off, you can slice it across the grain into small bite-sized pieces. And there we are. You can serve with either of your two sauces, or both. The dish goes well with white rice or white noodles, as well as some green leafy vegetables like bok choy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your dinner.